So in this chapter, we're gonna talk a little bit about cloning nutrients uh, and what type of nutrients you wanna use during those phases. But before we get to that, you wanna start with pHing your nutrient solution. Uh, this is very important just because if you don't have it in the right range, uh, the plant won't end up taking up the nutrients and utilizing them and you'll experience deficiencies. So what you wanna do is you wanna have your pH range anywhere between 5.5 and 6.3 for hydroponics, or six and seven for soil, okay? But for cloning, it's probably gonna be a little bit lower and more on the hydroponic range. So anywhere between probably 5.5 and 5.8 for cloning. So we wanna make sure this is pH first. Any type of water that you use, any type of minerals that you use, make sure it's pH before you start using the solution. So during cloning, uh, what happens is, is the plant needs, the plant take, you take a cutting off a plant and the plant needs to grow roots. So that's what these are for. They're called cloning gel. Uh, cloning gel actually has a hormone in it, and the hormone creates roots to grow from the bottom of the plant when there was none. Uh, and this helps do that. Now the reason why it's gel is because it sticks to it and it, and it works a lot better. So when you actually put the, sol uh, the watering solution in there to feed your plants with a mild nutrient solution, it actually doesn't come off, uh, whereas powders do. So powders aren't recommended uh, just because of that reason, uh, because they'll just slip off and they end up not growing roots because of that. So this is uh, some cloning gel made by Hydroponics X, and it's used for that purpose. Uh, and this is uh, Dutch Master's version of that too, as well called Replicator. And I'm gonna open it up so you can take a look at it and we can just kind of see exactly what it is. It's just this gel that goes on the bottom of the plant and then you dip your cutting in this gel and then you put it inside your medium. And this way it grows roots. So after you get your cutting inside the medium and it's ready to start, uh, you wanna use something that's gonna help improve that process. One thing to use is something called Rapid Start. Rapid Start helps uh, improve that process by, by making the roots grow faster and more vigorously. Another company that makes a product like this uh, is House and Garden. They make something called Roots Accelerator. Uh, Roots Accelerator is really good too as well. It's, it's just got these hormones in it that help the roots grow faster and more vigorously, which ends up with a, a nice healthy cutting. Um, eventually it'll turn into a plant. It'll be about six inches tall before you move it into your bedroom. And once you move into your bedroom, they'll grow up nice and, nice and healthy. This is another type of, of cutting uh, of, of using on your cuttings, it's, it's, it's basically called dip and grow. And, and what it is, is it's not a gel, uh, it's, it's, it's just a, a liquid solution that's got a lot of alcohol in it and stuff. And so when you dip it in there, it's not gonna you know, stick like a gel, it's just gonna run off, but it's still on there. And then you stick it in your medium and it works really well too. This is a very old original formula. Um, it's been used for a very long time. Um, it has very high success rates. Uh, so this is something you definitely want to use and take into consideration to using when you're, you're starting your cloning process. So all these products, I mean, they're all designed for your cloning phase. Your cloning phase is, is, is one of the most important phases in the, in, in the cannabis plant's lifetime uh, because it's always, it's the beginning. I mean, when you cut, take a cutting off a plant, the, that, that extra cutting is, is in shock. Um, it doesn't know what's going on. And now it has to figure out, okay, now I gotta start growing roots and become a whole new plant. So using the right products during this phase is very, very, very important. Uh, if you don't, then you're gonna run into a lot of problems in the end. So this concludes our chapter for cloning.